Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to test your 2 gig SMK3 345. This is a 2 gig smoke and heat sensor and I actually have this programmed into my GC3 system. So I'm actually going to be testing it today with my canned smoke and uh, before we go ahead and get into any testing I do just want to touch on one thing. Before you guys test any alarm signals if it's a smoke detector, door sensor, window sensor, whatever sensor it is, if your system is being monitored by a central station alarm company, you want to make sure that you call your company or your central station and you let them know that you're going to be testing the sensors and that you want to place your accounts on test. The reason you want to do that is because if you don't let them know and you set off alarms, they may think it's a real alarm and they may dispatch the authorities out, which causes a false alarm and also you may get false alarm fees. So make sure that before you do any testing, you just call your central station, you call your alarm company, whoever it is you need to contact, let them know that you're gonna be testing and that you wanna place your account on test for an hour or two. After you've done that, you can even call them back and make sure that they've received the signals. If you've clearly tested a sensor, you've gotten the alarm to um, show up on the panel and the central station has not received any of the signals, you can actually ask them if they got the signals and they say no, you may want to call your company and have them troubleshoot with you to see what exactly is going on and why the sensor didn't report to the central station. Because um, you do want to make sure your sensors are reporting, that way in the event of an actual alarm, the central station, you know that you're actually being protected. So, uh, first easy way of testing this two gig smoke heat sensor, the SMK3 345, is this little button right here. It's actually a test and a hush button. So I'm actually gonna press and hold this down for about six seconds, or you can release it after you hear four beeps from the sensor. Holding this down is gonna cause, is gonna allow you to test the, uh, the sounder, the LED lights, and the actual transmission to the system. So if I hold this down successfully, it will transmit the signal to the panel and both the sensor and the alarm panel will go off in a fire alarm mode. You'll see right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, release. And it should show up on the system in sh short second. I'm gonna disarm it. I use my default master code, which is 1111. Your code may be different, so you wanna make sure you use any codes that you have on your system, okay? Um, one important thing, after you disarm, you also want to make sure you clear the alarm history so that your system doesn't remain with a red bar at the top. You want it to be all in a ready to arm mode with a blue bar at the top. So that is the way to test it using the test button. The other way to do it is using the canned smoke. Um, if you guys don't have a canned smoke, you guys can also use a cotton ball or a cotton wick. Just light it on fire, hold it up to the smoke sensor, and the smoke should basically cause the alarm to go off right away. You're gonna see there's a pretty pretty immediate alarm that goes off, yeah? I'm just gonna spray my smoke into the smoke detector. Fire. One. After it goes off, I'm gonna disarm again. And then I'm just gonna hush my smoke detector. So the smoke detector is going to keep going off. It usually ends up, it's not going to keep sounding forever. It usually goes off for about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, the test button is also a hush button. Pressing that button should quiet down the smoke. And um, after the smoke detector has quieted down, then I had already disarmed it on my system. But one thing I want to show you guys is, let's say you do disarm the system, but then you jump to the home screen you remain with that red bar at the very top. A lot of people don't know what to do. They're tapping on the bar, it doesn't come up. The easiest thing to do is just to hit the icon all the way to the left. Um, it's It looks like a little comment, like a little cloud. And uh, once you hit that, you go to alarms, and then you can just clear the alarm history from there, causing the blue bar at the very top. So that is how you test the smoke on the SMKT3-345. You can either use uh, the little canned smoke that we used. You can use a cotton ball, cotton wick, just light it on fire, or you can just use the little test button right here. 
Now this sensor, it also has a rate of rise heat detection and a fixed heat detector. So the rate of rise, it actually works if the, if the uh, sensor detects 10 degrees of um, a 10 degree change within one minute, it'll let you know that there's a rate of rise. The fixed heat, it actually requires 125 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, what it does, it's over a 10 minute period, period span. And what it does is if it notices it, it, that it's hit 125 degrees Fahrenheit for three minutes, and it, it goes ahead and it checks again within like the next 30 seconds. And if it checks and it's, it's still at 125 degrees Fahrenheit three times within those 10 minutes, then it's gonna let you guys know that there's there's heat in the house, more likely a fire, um, or there's something going on where the temperature has been consistently at 125 degrees Fahrenheit, which will then should cause an alarm to the system, and you guys should definitely check up on that. All right, uh, if you guys have any questions at all about this sensor, about how to get it programmed in, how to test it, feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, Subscribe to the YouTube channel and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new videos and new content, you guys get notified. I'm George and I'll see you guys next time.